Come back with third and six. There's the matchup with the yards passing so far. Both quarterbacks. And he's six for first here. Now, got it away, and it's caught by Diggs. Oh, this is a great strength on strength, but awesome job by Josh Allen. He's got four catches for 47. Here's first down throw. Two. Oh, it was yes. always sunny skies, wasn't it for you? It's always sunny in Philadelphia. Second and two. Got to be a legend to throw your last pass. Don't you? I want you to watch the right side. And you'll just see Gabe with his eyes looking the opposite way. And once he gets him out of position. Davis, two grabs, 44 yards. Timeout called by the first and goal. Why did the Bills call a timeout there, Tony? You give it to Cook. Cuts to the right. Side and he runs and swallows it up when it gets on the edge. But that's where you got to run it. Timeout called by Philadelphia. The NFL on CBS now. I mean, talk about the struggles. Philly does. They have a touchdown there right now for the Eagles recently. And that puts you in 10 points against either. Take it back. The Eagles in the goal. <laughs> Second and goal. As <laughs> Allen has someone on him right away. And, he's... and oh, look at the, the, the jersey's ripped. He just he grabbed the back right there. Oh, yeah. How do you not see that you're permitted to? But we can clearly see that Josh Allen was flushed out of the. Are conferring about it. going on here these officials are trying to figure all that out gene yes yeah, surely jim and this is not reviewable because the ruling was down by ruling on the field is that the quarterback <laughs> down at that spot we will ask buffalo if they want to use a timeout to avoid detention he ruled now that he did throw a forward pass wasn't down by contact naturally he's out of the grounding we are also under two minutes so a potential 10 second runoff coach mcdermott can decline the 10 second runoff if he chooses to let buffalo have uh, there is no 10 second runoff. 1.30 on the clock. I mean, that shouldn't be intentional grounding. This is a killer for Buffalo if they don't score because you should have gotten the yard. They're still front. Gabe Davis is right near about two step intentional grounding. Here's the third and goal, 16 yards away, and it's in. Turfield's supposed to go inside. You don't go outside. Right there, Josh Allen let the ball go. Because that could have been a touchdown. By the way, the penalty. Here's the kick. Pass. Oh, wow. That was 98, Carter gets his hand up and gets a piece. Look at that. Times the jump perfectly is remarkable. It's a great way of saying it. He has great instincts. Time to ten, they come away with nothing. Now Philly's got two timeouts. There's AJ Brown trying to get to the sideline, and he does. Well, he's very scary when he's out in space. He's as good a route runner as there is in the National Football League, and. It's why he's second in the NFL and receiving yards coming into the week. But he's just so difficult for smaller guys. He's got that size to just get outside of the arm tackles. 117 to go in the second quarter. Here's Hertz. Slips out of Vaughn Miller's attempt. Taron Johnson chasing him out of bounds near the 40. It's a great job by Jalen Hurts. And I could tell just a little bit of that knee where he doesn't have that next level explosiveness that he, you're used to seeing him kind of turn it up. You see just a little bit. And that's, that's going to help them dramatically if he could ever get fully healthy this year. But first time I've seen Von Miller gives up a little bit of a rush lane. It was close. Both these quarterbacks take advantage of that when you go behind them in the rush from the outside. So they've gone out of bounds on the two snaps. Still able to preserve the two timeouts with 108, Tony. Oh, mishap. The mishandle on the handoff, and the Bills have recovered it. It was Gainwell who bumped into the quarterback. The Buffalo has an opportunity before the intermission. Well, that's why they're top five in the league in takeaways. They do a great job, but this really is the miscommunication by... Jalen Hurts, he wasn't really sure because 
Hoyer comes flying in at the end, and he's like, well, I should hand it off. I shouldn't. It was a blitz that caught him. And that's that troublesome spot where you got multiple options and you choose the wrong one and look at look at McDermott getting down and dirty he likes yeah. it he wants to well, be he's a place. scrappy wrestler in his day and that was Russo with the recovery a big plays by Russo today two timeouts for the Bills 64 seconds oh Murray felt the presence of Morrow incomplete You said it earlier, the most points off turnovers in the NFL. They usually take advantage. They've already done it once today, Jim. Took advantage and scored that touchdown. Can they do it again? Diggs is not in on this play, Tony. Sure field at the bottom. Second and ten. Kosh is going to take off. We'll redirect inside the 20. And falling on at the 16-yard line. And you said earlier how hard he is to bring down. And I thought he was going to slide, right? It just looked like he's about to slide. Nope, not this guy. <laughs> Timeout, Buffalo. We're back in 30 seconds after this. AWS is helping the NFL to predict and prevent injuries with AI. By analyzing... The rest of the team has 27. They're at 249 offense to 100 for the Eagles. And he's doing it perfectly today. I said he had to use his legs, and then he's going to have to use his eyes to look off this defense. He's done both of them really well in this first half. He's got a first and 10 at the 17. He's looking for another option. There it is. And it's Murray. He got a marker. He's tackled down at the 12. Josh Allen would not have gone through five guys and stayed in the pocket. In previous Holding. years. Offense number 73. 10 yard penalty is first down. How about penalty number 10? The second penalty on Dawkins, who grew up in this area, went to Temple. I want you to watch right up here. You'll see at the very end of the play, Dawkins will get his hand right up around Sweat's helmet there, like a little. What do they call that? A little uh, arm on it? Or... They call it it's a, a headlock. They, it's a headlock. Yeah, they call it a penalty is what they call it, right? It's an arm on it. 43 seconds. First and 20 and across the middle. Kincaid dives to about the 13. That was the area I said they got to keep going to Kincaid. That is a weakness in this style. Every defense can't defend everything. And the one area they leave it out there a little, there's a lot of space it's inside with tight ends. Second and six. Allen. To the end zone and in the direction of Gabe Davis with Bradbury defending now you got third and six with 21 seconds they can pick up a first down at about the seven hey if you're the Eagles and you're able to hold them just a field goal and they've out yardage you two and a half to one you're gonna feel pretty good about being only six down at the oh, half look at that plays in opponent territory you're exactly right Philly would take 13-7 right now and walk. It is a downpour at the moment. Quarterback's legs again. Four guys on one side, Jim. Four. Bring it back. No one goes in motion. It's zone. Work somebody out over here. Third and six. Pass at the goal line. Caught for a touchdown. Diggs has it. Well, you said it. This ball was thrown into a lot of people. I thought he should have just taken the out to Kincaid that we drew. It had been a little simpler to get the easy first down. But he turns back in and throws a dime in between. Watch Diggs. He's going to have a ton of people around him. And that ball couldn't have been thrown in a better spot. And what a job by Diggs. Just make sure he broke the plan. I believe he did. To go down and dig it. Out. Yeah, his hand was underneath, so he covered himself there. Look at his right hand possessing it. That's that replay touchdown. shows he's right on the line. That's a touchdown. As long as the ball didn't move anywhere, that's a touchdown. What a throw, and what a great catch by Diggs. A couple of huge ones here late in the quarter. Boy, Diggs coming on for five for 60 and a touchdown after having only seven catches the last two weeks for a total of 61 yards. Yeah, teams have done a better job, like on Brown and him. A little bit of double teaming, but 
Did you like the Diggs goes down and Diggs Diggs? See, I noticed that. <laughs> Very clever of you. I'm so smart. You see this as a catch, don't you, uh, Gene Steratore? I do. Yeah. Yes, I do, Jim. I really feel like he got his hand underneath, and it's going to be a touchdown. Thank you, Gene. So, two touchdowns off the giveaways, Tony. Extra point is good. That's 20 consecutive games now that Josh Allen has thrown for at least one touchdown. Seventeen seven. Boy, Allen has been throwing the football quite well here in his it not is. so ideal conditions. This is why, though, for a Buffalo quarterback, if you're drafting a guy, right, you've got to be able to throw the ball. Made Jim Kelly so great too. It's like this is a kind of a Buffalo day, isn't it? We've it been is. to That's Buffalo so many. Right. We went to Joshua time, and he goes. This will be the seven straight game, or six straight yeah, games right home, where they had rain or snow or something. And if you get a guy, you can't draft a guy who's just, you know, you can't throw in the weather. And it, that does separate certain guys. And you're seeing that play out, not necessarily because Jalen can as well, but that does separate over time all year. And that will set up the Eagles with 12 seconds to go for the 25 yard line. Yeah, if there's any team that's going to come in here and have a day like this, these conditions, it's going to be. Unbothered by it all, unflappable. It's this team. That's exactly right. Well, the Eagles did defer at the top, so they will be receiving the third quarter kick. Can't imagine they're going to do anything with this now. Going to go back in and reset and face the exact same halftime score that they had Monday night in KC when they shut out the Chiefs in the second half say. and won 21 17. Against yeah. Mahomes? I mean, it's amazing. They're going to need a similar one here in this one. Fans are wet and restless. That's the end of the first half with the score. Buffalo 17 and Philadelphia 7. Halftime is next after these first half highlights from Verizon and a word from your local station. This is what we just talked about, Jim. The back end and the front end, it's making everything muddy. He can hand this off, but he doesn't love. He could keep it, but doesn't love that. And then he's just a hair. Like, looks like it's covered, right? Everything's just a hair late, just a little tick off. And that's because Buffalo is doing an incredible job blanketing the outside, passing guys off. They've played zone every single snap today, Jim, of the game. Second and 14. This time he's got protection. Coming back for it, making the catch is A.J. Brown. Just reception. No, it's incomplete. Incomplete. I thought that was caught too. I didn't see the late drop, but that's the pressure being in the face of Jalen Hurts right there. It's a good job by Epinesa getting up under where he had to kind of stop where the ball just tails a little bit and floats. 33 yards passing. This is shocking. And they've had rough stretches like every team does, but. Third down conversions, and now you're going to go once again. They're going to go here and here on the outside. He's going to try and step up and get under. Burden 14, Julio. Oh, that was an issue. Huh? Wow. Goes nowhere. Taron Johnson was there to meet him. Three plays and a net of minus four yards. Yeah, no one's better in the National Football League at making teams. Punt the football quickly. Start in the second half, Jim. Sean McDermott. I think both of these coaches are incredible at adjusting within the game. Sean McDermott with his defense and Nick Sirianni with this offense does an incredible job of playing the game today. Not waiting to watch it tomorrow, you know, on tape, and that's saying we should have done this. Here's the punt. Back at the 21, it's scooped up. That's Shakir. Tackled down by Job at about the 32-yard line. 58-yard punt, Josh Allen, what a day he's having. He's got the 10-point lead.
Sliding strong. Wow. Turn around and stick it up. Wow. Wow. To open up the third quarter. There's the pass to a wide open Gabe Davis. And he's down to the 46 of the Eagles. Great job of play design by this Bills offense. I mean, just a wonderful job of setting it up where the, all the linebackers flowed right into the line there, Jim, and just creating a huge hole for Gabe Davis. That's on the offensive coordinator. Wonderful start to the second half. It's a running play with Cook for no gain. Cunningham is there again. Tracy? Jim, I spoke with Nick Sirianni coming out of half, and he said players and coaches have to wake up. He said turnovers have put this defense in bad situations, and they have to protect the football, and they haven't done a good job on first and second job staying out of third and long. And he said, remember, we were down 10 to Kansas City. We spoke to him this week. He said this team just does not panic. They know how to win. Not the start they wanted for the half, but we'll see what they can do here. Thanks, Tracy. Speaking of waking up, he actually slept both Monday night, they got in about 4.30, and Wednesday night on a couch in his office, Sirianni. Here's second and ten. And that goes to Shakir. Shades of Dick Vermeil, who used to do that back in the day. But it's a tough turnaround week. You, yeah. you, you know, you come in. Welcome to the NFL. Yeah, but the holiday Short throws weeks. you off a little bit, too, I'm sure. I mean, that's where you're going to coach and or you're going to spend time with the family after things are done because it's such a short week. I mean, you have a Monday night game. I remember when I was in Dallas. If we played Monday night. It was at Washington, at Philly, or at the Giants. You're not home until 5 a.m. Yep. And it's like you got to get everything started. You're almost a day and a half behind, and that can hurt you in areas like third and four. Here's the pass back to Shakir. Stays in bounds for an extra yard or two. A first down for the Bills. What an outstanding play design as well again. This is the motion back and forth, and you figure out how to get someone open, but it all starts up front with the time. Boy, he got hit, didn't he? Yeah, he did, and he was asked. He got hit in his sweat was the one who leveled him, and he was looking around for a call, but wasn't there. They're 7 out of 13 on third down. Came in as the best in the league on the season. Well, they've done a bunch of you know, different styles of plays. On first down, they fake the handoff. Going to try to get it in there to Murray and complete. I love it. When I say that, if you're a Bills fan, I love it when any quarterback does this, but it looks and you feel like you're failing when you check it down and gets tackled for four or five yards, or if you throw it away almost right there, because it feels like he could do more, and he always has. But it is not worth the interception or the two picks or the fumble that gets caused. That is how you lose football games. This team is too complete to keep along. He's playing an incredibly precise game right now. Here's a second and ten. That's incomplete. Kincaid and Davis both in the area. And they got under the third down, which they have excelled on so far today. Josh got rushed right here. If you watch the side, you're going to see the quick jump by the left defensive end. And Josh feels like he's about to hit him. He had more time, but when a guy gets a jump like that, and really Reddick's as good as anybody in the National Football you feel like because you're not looking at him on your blind side, you got to get it out. There's Reddick ready to pounce. Need to get to the 20 for a first. Pump fakes the deep ball instead. Hits the defender in the back. And that was Ricks on Davis. And they'll bring out Bass for a field goal try. This is just a missed throw, and you get rushed. Go ahead and play the sky cam. Cool shot. When we get back, we're going to show you, Jim, how wide open he had him after the pump fake. 48 yards for Bass. Who's one of two today. His last one was blocked. Good from 48 earlier. This kick. Sailing, and it's going to be wide right. Buffalo dominating 
but keeping Philadelphia in the game with some mistakes, self-imposed. Can Philly figure it out when we come back? Of a fumble, miscommunication between the quarterback and Gainwell. Got to get outside. There you go. Swift taken off. High trying to find him and trips him up. Wow. Eerily similar to last week with the Chiefs in the second half where Swift had that big long run as it kept going. That is the adjustment. And watch. I keep saying it's hard to run inside here. It's a lot easier to get out on the edge. And once you get out on the edge, you need one guy to displace somebody, and it creates big holes. Both these defenses, you've got to get outside more than inside the run. That went for 36. They go back to Swift, and Ed Oliver is on him. Boy, before this drive, as we reside right here off of I-95, it was not named that because they had only 95 yards of offense before that run by Swift. But they've just had their first play that went for 25-plus, and they're moving. It's a game where the Bills have out-yardaged them. Three to one, but the Eagles are trying to get within a score on this very possession. Yeah, the ball's bounced a little funny, right? The ball got tipped in the air, blocked field goal, missed field goal, and all of a sudden we got a game with one big play. Second and eight. They're riding Swift, and he wants it. Kelsey's out there. Kelsey threw a big block on that 36 yarder. They got third and two coming up. And they're on to it now. It always takes you. When I said Sirianni in this staff they're as good as anyone at adjusting it's like listen they're playing it this way they can align out wide but if you're stunting in lower and you get a bunch of guys flowing inside your job is to adjust and i've seen it consistently that's why they have that pedigree the dna to win games when it looks like you're getting out game they've they've been out game i told you earlier 100 yards the last three games they won all three mm. same thing today but by more third and two Keeps it, throws it, caught, stole, down to the four-yard line. The replacement for Goddard with his fourth catch of the season. This one goes for 14, his longest play of the year. Very difficult. These two, one of them has to take the quarterback after he fakes it. Once you don't, both guys do the same thing on the assignment. You had the quarterback run. Or you had stole on the side. What a play design there. That's the adjustments. Brian Johnson, well done there on offense. First and goal. And I've seen signs of them coming on, right? Two new coordinators this year. It takes time. The subtlety, the nuance. First and goal. They go with Swift. He's racing to the outside, and he's chopped down after a gain of one by Rasul Douglas. Who's playing outstanding. What a trade pickup. Hmm. Came into the league, by the way. Drafted by the Eagles back in 2017 in the third round. He was on that Super Bowl team that year. Played his first three years here in Philly. Yeah, he had a big game against the Jets. Boy, did he ever. Two picks and a fumble recovery. Yeah. But you see the, the conscientious effort to get outside now in the run game. Now we'll see if Buffalo adjusts right here. Consistently, Philly goes downhill at you. Second and goal, three yards away. He still got it. Goes to the end zone, and it's caught by A.J. Brown for the touchdown. They were all over the inside run. This whole drive was the adjustment of this Philly staff. And by getting outside, this time it was Hurts moving outside after the play fake. And you see all the guys who are in a bind. Go ahead and watch these guys up there. They don't know whether to go with the quarterback, the flat. Or the corner route by A.J. Brown, who gets into the red zone. And now Jake Elliott can trim it to three. How things turn after it looked like the Bills might add to their total. Come away empty. The Eagles drive 62 yards in six plays, and it ends with this. And for A.J. love it here. They love football. It's a little, little CCR. Yeah, they're all united. And they're fired up because their team's on the board as Isabella just brought up from the practice squad. Returns that one. Josh Allen's had a hot hand in this game. Yep, the two keys extending plays. He's done that awesome today.
sometimes running, sometimes like a big shot, but the other one is eye discipline, manipulating the defense, move the safeties, and using that big arm, and that was fired in there. And that's in the rain, if you can't tell, Jim. Mm. Heavy rain. Hasn't bothered him, though. He's playing so poised today. He ran it up the middle with Cook for about four. What kind of adjustments, if any, does uh, Brady make now with the lead down to three as you try to put something together to counter that touchdown by the Eagles? That's the biggest one right there. It's now uh, this type of team can run the ball, and their ability to run it on first down and get yards makes them so difficult because the quarterback doesn't feel the need to get yards back. And then you just play a clean game. And to me, running the football on first down or on second and long, because this defense now is going to adjust to the passing game for some of the big plays they did. Run it on both first and second down. And again, it's Cook, this time for about two. Brandon Graham was one of those in on it. This is a record-setting day for Brandon Graham, the 14-year vet out of Michigan, playing his 189th game, which is an all-time Philadelphia Eagles record. He moves past David Akers. Unbelievable. What a career. Right now, quarterback's legs is right at the top of my list. Don't let Diggs. They did a great job of starting in the backfield, moving them out. See how the defense adjusts to put two guys over here? You got five old linemen, four D linemen. If this guy stays out of the box, you can run. He's going to keep it. He's going to have the first down as he is dragged down by Morrow. Brendan Graham was drafted all the way back in 2010 in the first round. And he has the record for the Eagles, the other record holder. Great graphic there by our team. Of course, he had the famous sack of Tom Brady in the Super Bowl, Super Bowl 52, to help squelch the comeback attempt for the Patriots. First and 10. Shaking off the sack. Finding Cook. Good catch this time. He's got open room. And Cook is finally shoved out at about the 27-yard line. And again, that play in part due to the fact that Josh Allen just cannot come down with one arm on him. This is when I talk about the poise. I want you to watch. Byers is going to come running in from the top. Go ahead. And Josh slides in the line right there. And by doing so, I can't believe he got all the way back to the back. Mm. It's almost like he's conscientiously saying, scrambling instead of looking downfield always for the big play that is the big play aggressively take what the defense gives you. gave him a gain of 29 first down and it's cook running behind mitch morse once you keep a defense on the field and they do shuffle them in and out a lot but in this game right here if you early in the game philly was stopping the inside running game but as the game moves on they get a little more tired and now you have the opportunity to displace them inside like that. Well, it was Joe Brady who told us a two-yard run early in the game. They called a bloody run. Might be like an eight-yard run in the fourth quarter. That's exactly right. Got a new back in here. Ty Johnson on this second and six. It goes to Johnson. Oh, he slips through a tackle. Looked like he was going to be stopped for a short gain. He got another first. You just called it the two-yard run early in the game. There you go. Gets eight. How many get there? Jim? Maybe about eight. Got uh, exactly eight. And you see what happens right there. You got the Eagles now going down. Dawkins with a great block at the end. And then. There's where it would have been a two-yard run Correct. early. Correct. Exactly right. And there's where it ends up with that eight-yard gain. Just right out of the lips of the offensive coordinator. And our meeting with him this week. Extra tackle in. Same as the last one. First and ten. Again, it's Johnson riding with a player on his back for four yards behind Morris. Tracy. Jim, this Eagles defense playing without linebacker Zach Cunningham right now. He is in the locker room with a hamstring injury, and they are still without Fletcher Cox. He remains on the sideline with that groin injury. Well, they've had some injuries today. Again, Lane Johnson was a late scratch after waking up, feeling like he had some issues. With a groin injury, and he had a groin a surgery on groin at the end of last season, so he was a scratch. Christian Ellis, 53, is on that defense now for Cunningham. Yeah, and you've got second and seven. 
All in confusion here. This was a run blitz perfectly timed by Sean Desai. You'll see it come flying right in the middle. Watch these two backers right here. You cannot run a play right up the gut when you got two guys blitzing. I know the quarterback could keep it or not. There's no time for that when you got the four D linemen and these two flying in at you. We had just mentioned Ellis had come in for Cunningham, and look at that play he makes for a loss of five. So sets up a third and eleven. They've been great on third and long today. Here they come blitzing, stepping up. Gonna try to run for it. Dodges one defender, and he's in for another touchdown. He sidestepped Blankenship and has rushed for his second score today. We talk about how good Buffalo has done with the integrity of the pass rush. Another all-out pressure, back-to-back -back plays, and this should not have been allowed. But the integrity of it, Ellis, the backup, comes in. Watch right here. He's going to go outside. Once he takes that path, it opens it up for Josh Allen. Wow, you can see Reed Blankenship just pound his fist into the turf after he missed the tackle. Diggs was slow to get up after getting leveled by Morrow. But it's a touchdown as Josh Allen has accounted for all three of them. Two on the ground, one in the air. Bass now to get it back to the halftime margin. And you called it Blankenship, but how hard is it to tackle him in space? If you can. This extra point is good. He gets you with that pump fake. They've given up a touchdown on third and seven plus. Wow. The Eagles and the Bills were the two best teams in the league in terms of not giving away points in the third quarter, but they both now have allowed a touchdown. Bills had only get up 12 points all season long in the third. I want to give a big acknowledgement to some special members of our crew who've been just exceptional all season long, and especially this very busy week where we've had three games in eight days. Our associate directors, Eric Spitzer, Justin Haley, just so much work behind the scenes and live in the heat of it all. Brilliant stuff. And our broadcast associates don't get any better. Brooke Weiss, oh, we say, oh, he wary. Just amazing. They are incredible. Thank you, guys. Yeah. A season of gratitude. Big, heartfelt thanks for the effort level that helps fuel this team. As Hurts now and his Eagles team are back to 10 down with 140 to go in the third quarter. Well, they do a good job motioning across, doing these play fakes, keeping it, throwing it, looking at the defense. Swift, it worked well for him on the last drive, and he starts this series with a five-yarder. Here's a look at next-gen stats, Tony, powered by AWS. Well, the entire first half was all zone. You see this blanket coverage. They got the sidelines and everything in the middle. Got hit when he threw it, but open is Smith. Devontae Smith cuts back. He's got a huge gain on his third catch of the afternoon. Russo hit. Hurts, but he got the ball away in time, and it goes for 34. There's the blanket coverage. So the way to get it is to get inside of that. Don't go to the outside, and you see as he does that, comes all the way across, and a poor job there by Douglas not coming off on his blanket part. But all the way down to the Bills, 38. Go to Smith. He's not even touched for the first five yards of that. They're figuring out how to start at the run game. The play action's off of that same type of run outside on the edge. Maybe they get one more play snap before the end of the quarter. Yep, they will. Should be a similar thing here. Second and five. They fake it here while the tight end comes back. Quarterback can keep it. Up the middle they go. Swift. Jammed. Gain of one. Well, it's rained throughout. The Bills have had a great effort level throughout a lead by 10 heading to the 